Good morning, everybody. Surprise, it's Leany <laughs> in an extra for the month. <laughs> Friday fun day. Good morning, everybody. Um, I am just here because we are going to do a kind of a extra little goodie for the new, um, well, it's, new, it's not new, but it's out there. And we have got a deal on these for the two scoops pillow which is just so much fun. And I'll try and go this way. It is every one of these is, is just a really fun um, uh, block. And I have some fun things. I'm going to change the camera to the overhead and it's upside down. So let me see if I can quickly sit this one here. Yep. And rotate. There we go. And so what I wanted to show you, we're going to do one, or I'm going to do one block for you today, but I wanted to kind of go over all of it. Um, we have a, um, a video that I did with a group, and, of, and we also have a Facebook Live group that if you purchase the design from us and the kit and all the goodies, then you can be involved in it. So, um, and you know, answer any, I'll answer any questions. It's kind of like a, a constant teacher with you all the time. But as I was going through this and I'm doing a second one and I'll probably end up doing a third oh, one. So you're not going to stop at two. I'm not <laughs> stopping at two. I these, you. these are so much fun because they are so quick. Every one of these squares takes, I think the most the one takes is 36 minutes. Otherwise, they are so fast. And I can see, um, just if you're looking at these right here, would be adorable on a little girl's dress or on a kitchen towel. Um, this one is one of my favorites. It's such a cool technique. And um, so I just kind of wanted to share with you the techniques on it, and then we'll do one of the blocks, and then Salima's got them on special up on her um, app for you to purchase. And you can get just the fabric kit if you already have it, which of course Lini does, and that's why Lini's making three of them, or you can get um, the whole thing. It does have the music box, and. I have to tell you a funny story about the music box. As I was driving here this morning, I had this um, pillow wrapped up um, in my car, and I drive a cute little bug, and I had it in the back on, in the um, trunk, and all of a sudden I hear this music. And I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Well, it was my trunk. I had accidentally, when I made a turn, it dumped and fell right on top of the music box. Oh, it was in your trunk? It was in my trunk. That's why I had to literally find a place to pull over and take my bag and put it so that it wasn't on the wrong side. Because otherwise I'd wear the battery out, I think. I don't know. It's been playing for a long time. I love the music. I love the little music box. It's got a cute little, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to go ahead and the overhead again. It's got a cute little um, pocket for the music box so that you always can have it in there and when you put on in the pillow it'll go off one more time until then and if somebody sits up against it it plays music and it's hysterical to watch. So um, just a lot of fun with this one. So um, what I'm going to do is kind of show you all how I get prepared for most of these pillows or any of the Kimberbell designs. And then we'll go on. And I know a lot of you had, um, yes, that's why Fancy Pants, I need ice cream when I get home. Um, it's, I, we've got a new ice cream shop and I keep asking my husband, he keeps saying no. Well, guess what? I think I'm going to go. My car is going to have an automatic pilot. That was something we did when my kids were little is um, we used to live in El Segundo and there was Gay 90s was a, uh, a um, ice cream place. And we used to laugh that my mom taking us and then when my kids were little, the, the car, it just, you driving and it, it, it can't get away. The Gay 90s is pulling us into the plot and we always got ice cream. So um, this just kind of reminds me of it as well. So with that, this is what I do when I get do a Kimberbell project, is I have a notebook. 
And of course, I you know, my local ice cream man, he comes every Saturday and he's adorable. Um, he ended up having a heart attack and he didn't, um, uh, wasn't be able to work for a while. So we all support him and we get a couple of ice cream. So we always give him 20 bucks. So he's got it. So he comes every Saturday. So with this, um, you have to print out, and I'm going to go back to the overhead. So I keep it in a book with two scoops. I have the quilting. I always get their Kimber Bell quilting files. I love them. I use them not just for the project, but I use them on other things as well. They are great. They come with either the border for each block or you can get them without what they call the um, clear blue tiles version, which is just the quilting that you can put together. Then I keep all the stuff that's in front, um, you know, cutting files and all that kind of stuff um, in the front of the book. Oops, see, I did it again. I'm going to put this up because I keep hitting the music. <laughs> And then I have it by block. And in each place, I've got it in a plastic sheet, and then I have one extra plastic sheet that I keep the fabric. And so then you just kind of go, and I've got the, when I have them done, I put them back in so that I have them all ready when I need them. So I'll go through and do all my blocks, and then I go through and I'll cut all my blocks and then put them together. I have them put together in my book by sections so that you can see um, they're all each one, the ones I have done. So I've done quite a few of these and this literally, I did these yesterday uh, or the day before yesterday. I did probably about four hours worth of sewing and you can see embroidering and only on one machine. And um, so you can see they go really quickly once you have it all cut out. And I cut them all out um, and put the pieces, and I'm going get, to get to one I haven't done yet. Let's see here. This was my favorite block, one of them. Um, and I want to talk about this one for a minute. This one is really cute, and it's got um, what I did with it that's different. They ask you to put uh, fusible woven or SF-101 on the back of each one of the pieces. And um, what I did on this was I put fuse and fleece um, behind this one to bounce it up a little bit. And I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I move it up. And then here I put a piece of... Um, what we're going to use today is the puffy foam just to give it a little more dimension as being the cart um, uh, awning over the little ice cream cart so just to give it so sometimes I add a little dimension to the pieces stick that back in there and then here's one that's another one's done and then here's one I haven't started yet but you can see what I do is I put all the pieces that I need. So at a moment's notice, if I have some free time, all I have to do is go in and take my pieces and um, put it in, uh, in the machine and away I go. So you can see I've got some to do here. But each one of these are so darn cute. I can see putting this on a summer top saying ice cream and putting your favorite flavor, it doesn't have to be vanilla, you could put um, chocolate or strawberry or pistachio. And then this is the pieced blocks, which are really fun because you do piecing these in the hoop. And this is like the, um, uh, Kimberbell's got a new thing out that is on our website called Me Time and it's machine embroidery time, and they're doing quilt blocks. So this is kind of a start of what they're doing, and they've got a new one out every single month. You pay either $19.99 or $49.99 if you want their fabric. You need to go through our website to, to um, order it. But um, they give you quilting files every single time, plus you're doing these in the hoop. And I love that my points are perfect every single time I do these blocks. So, um, so these are ready to go. And again, I just have all of those. And these, you make four of them. Each one has different quilting on it. And so, but I will do those in one hooping, in an eight by 12 hoop. 
and then quickly sewing it together and then what I've already done is cut my backing so my pieces are ready and then I also have and through our class I went ahead and showed everybody how to do the borders and I did mine differently and I tend to do that that's why if you join the class or you you buy it from us you get a uh, Lini's way of doing things is they wanted you to do this as a four inch strip because you cut a four inch strip on here I felt if you were going to put this ribbon on that it would hide the adorable quilting so I had you guys do a three inch one and did it to the right side so that when I put my ribbon on I'm not covering up my quilting so um, just a really fun little hint again that's what you kind of get when you take the class and or you buy the CD you'll get the video of the class so that it gives you all my little hints so what we're going to do for today's project is called never settle we're going to be using the um, fabric that I have actually backed with fusible woven that's the OESD product every piece and then we're going to be using leather and then um, also we're going to be using this puffy foam and I love this project uh, product it makes things have dimension that um, and I think it's not going to work and it does it is really a fun piece it it squishes down with the embroidery on top of it it doesn't cause puckering or anything like that but it does give it dimension and sometimes you just need that trapunto look dimension and then what I do also and, and a lot of my, my um, uh, students know that I cut my strips for the um, all my pieces ahead of time and most of the blocks are eight and a half by six and a half or eight and a half by something so I cut my a strip of eight and a half and I just keep cutting it off as I use it so let's get started and I'm going to go ahead and move it over to the machine and I have in my machine um, water soluble thread and it's first going to stitch out the placement line I got to hit it on embroidery first the placement line for the batting and so we're just going to go ahead and do that So I'm going to leave the water soluble thread in and I'm just going to put over, hopefully you can see this, my um, fusible fleece and I'm going to go ahead and we're getting ready to do um, a cup of cheer and so the same technique is going to be used throughout that with a lot of fun and different techniques, uh, brand new ones to us. I am really getting excited about that, but I got to finish my two scoops first. So I cut away some of it. Now Kimberbell Designs, they are very good about their, um, their placement, their tack down and all of that. And I'm just quickly cutting here. And what they're going to do next, and hopefully I didn't do too, is it's going to stitch down a placement line for my fabric. And it's always very generous, your fabric that they give you. So 
you really could skip this one if you wanted to. Um, but I do it because it's a cutting line for me. So when I'm done, I can turn it upside down and use that as a cutting line. So, um, or where to place my pop-up ruler for me to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on, making sure that it's kind of um, centered, and go ahead and it's going to stitch that out. And it's going to stitch the tack down on it. So the next thing it's going to do is I have already set it up so that um, it's got the quilting on it. So I'm going to go ahead and change to my thread for my quilting. And this is a fun place for you to use if you wanted to variegated threads um, as your background. I today forgot to bring one because I found one that kind of matches this ice creamy look that ha Floriani has, but I'm going to go ahead and stitch this out with the same color. As I'm doing this, then um, I was looking at, and I'm going to let it stitch for a minute, it's going to take about four minutes, so I'm going to change it back to overhead. So I found with this quilt, there are so many fun different fabrics or things that it uses. We're going to be using vinyl here for the scoops. And what they did on these snow, are, are these um, parfait glasses, I think that's what they're called. Um, they literally used the heat and bond vinyl and ironed it onto the fabric and then just stitched on top of it. It was the coolest thing and it gave the look of glass, um, parfait glasses. And then on this piece here, which I thought was so cool, they used, and I thought, I'm looking at this going, well, it's vinyl, but it's not. What they did on this piece is they used mylar with vinyl. So they used not the heat and bond vinyl, but they used actual vinyl on top of the mylar. And what a fun look. Can you think of all sorts of different things that you can do with using mylar and also um, the vinyl? I thought that was ingenious. What I did here is I used, and you can't really tell, they're, I think there are three different colors of dime um, King Star uh, metallic threads. So I used one for the shelf and then I tried to use a little bit darker one for the um, uh, pillars and also the little spigot that attaches to it. It's, it's got blue uh, or brown here. And one thing that I did differently in mine is it came with a button. Oh, that would be cool too, Mickey. Um, is I, with the button, they had the button here, up in there, and I thought, I don't wanna see, if, if my stick is on outside of the ice cream, then it's gonna fall off. So I put it right at the bottom of it, and then I glued it down so that it didn't flop, because it just, it was kinda of too flippy. I would lose my ice cream for sure. Um, and then here they used felt, they use vinyl, they use this glitter vinyl that has the holes in it. Again, all sorts of things that we forget when we're doing all sorts of applique to use different um, uh, pieces. What they did on this one here is they put foam on once and then they did it again to make it a little bit thicker chapunto. They, um, with the vinyl here, this is white and pink vinyl, they used 
white fabric, I put a little bit of fusing fleece behind here. Next time for my second one, I'm actually going to use the puffy foam. I just want it to pop out like a sign as opposed to being flat. This is extremely dense, so I think having the puffy foam behind here will be kind of cool. And, um, and then, of course, the ice cream, they use the puffy foam on the ice cream and not on the uh, cone. So just fun techniques that when you get this pillow, you learn them and then you take it outside the box and use it someplace else. And I think that's what um, Kimberbell does for me is I look at things a lot differently just to see what's, what, um, what else I can use that technique on. So, um, but a lot of fun techniques with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move me back. It now has the um, um, ready to do the tack down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my water soluble thread back in for the placement. And I forgot my silver sparkle. Do we have any silver king star? Oh, it's right, yes. I knew I forgot something. Beautiful, thank you. Mm -hmm. So it's doing a tack our placement line for the silver. Oh, and you know what? I bet this the machine has got the tie-offs oh, off. Okay. I'm seeing some tails. Sorry. It's no, that's okay. You know this is good for everybody to see. So I'm going to move this out. And I don't know if you can see there's a tie-off here that I want to pull here. And there's one going across here. So I need to go into, let's see, I forgot where this was. I think it's here. And I'm going to end the color. Yeah, I think that. Now I should be open. So now it's going to do both a tack down and decorative stitching. So I believe, no, this, is, this one's only got the one. So it's going to do two different ones. So I'm going to go ahead and use the King Star. It just adds to it. And I want to make sure that I've got my piece covered here. And I am going to tape it just a little bit because it's a little curly. I'm going to put it down to make sure that I have it on this side. And I have it here. All right, so now let's let it stitch. And this is a final stitch, so. Um, it's not going to do a satin stitch or anything like that. It's the final stitch. That's why you want to put the King Star in now. I, Sandy, yes, I tend to use water soluble all the time. And I learned that when I was teaching Hoop Sisters um, because there are times when you're, even when you're using the puffy foam or something like that, that the water soluble shows or the thread shows. And all I have to do is, um, it's still doing it. Um, all I have to do is then just wet it a little bit and get rid of it as opposed to sitting there ripping out the stitches. So when I do applique, most of the time my placement and my tack down 
unless it's a final one, is water-soluble thread. Bring it over here to the overhead. And be careful that I don't hit the music box again. And I'm going to go ahead and cut around this. And I all like the water-soluble thread that is the superior thread that is um, Vanish Extra. Um, it tends to not break. And as long as you don't put a cold drink next to it where the condensation gets to it, or you wash your hands and you come back and you have a little bit of wet on your fingers, um, it works really well. Um, I've done it once where I actually put a, a drink, I was at a, um, some class, and I had my water drink next to it, and the condensation got to my water soluble, and in one place, consistently, it would break, and I had to take it down to below that where it was still wet, and then it worked fine again, but so you have to be careful. So you want to be consistent when you cut around this. That's why I love these scissors. Okay. So there they are. It looks already like I'm I you know ready to go. So the next thing it's going to do is it's um, going to do some decorative stitches, and so I'm leaving my silver in um, on my. And I'm going to change my camera to the Pivo. There you go. As it stitches that out. the bottom one and then I'm going to go ahead and put my water soluble thread back in to do the puppy foam I love this King Star thread it is amazing and they've got so many fun colors now So the next thing it's going to do is the placement line for the um, puffy foam.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up here, and I'm going to let it stitch out the top one first. And it goes around twice, which is really nice. Okay, I'm going to stop it, and this is what I like to do because I like to save my puffy foam. So what I'm going to do is just cut around, kind of roughly, around it, put it back in, and then go ahead and put it there. So I can use this piece for a lot more. change my camera and go ahead and cut around my foam and this one is a lot of little scribbles in here and you want to be careful that you don't cut your vinyl underneath And then I cut this one here. It is, but on this it is not. Um, Doris, I don't find puffy foam is, is easy when it has these little tiny um, ins and outs. Glitter vinyl tends to, to pull away for me, but not puffy foam. Okay, so I have a little bit more here to cut away. Okay, so then the next one is going to be, um, I'm going to put pink on my top. So it's, I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera back. And I'm leaving my water soluble in. And it's going to, oops, first it's going to do a placement. They're really good about the placement lines. Could I have skipped this one? Absolutely. Um, and just gone to the next step, which is putting the tack down on top. And this is not a final, it does a cute little decorative stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that. It will go around twice. So now go ahead and cut the pink fabric around the outside edge. And then it's going to do the decorative stitch around it. And it's a really fun little um, stitch. It almost looks like little daisies going around it. Leave 
there you can see. Again, I gotta be careful that I don't cut the vinyl underneath. more inside these edges okay. here. All right, I'm going to stick it back in the machine and use pink. My favorite color. Woohoo! Now it's going to stitch the decorative around that. Now, of course, if you were doing this yourself, you could make, um, you don't like strawberry ice cream and vanilla, you could make your own colors. I love vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I like vanilla, but I can put chocolate syrup on top of it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yum. <laughs> I want ice cream now. I know, see? I could see this design put on t uh, towels, um, you know, in the kitchen and stuff like that. There's some really cute ice cream sayings out there, too. If you Google them to put on the towel. Nope, I don't want to cut it yet. It's going to do a little more decorative. So now I'm going to put my water soluble back in again. Could you put the same color in that you're going to use? Absolutely. The only thing is that if it starts to show, especially with the puffy foam, um, then you've got to rip out the, the, the stitches, unless you like the extra stitches, but I don't. And so my water soluble works really well. So now it's going to do a placement line for the fabric. I could skip this if I wanted to. But I want to go ahead just in case it catches the foam a little bit or the vinyl. And now I'm going to go ahead and put down my fabric. does um, to the design. It really does add a fun dimension to it. So while we're here, I'm going to quickly change my thread. Go ahead and cut around. 
And you know, when I'm cutting, I try to tend to do my worst cutting first, or what looks the worst, and then be easy on the, kind of on the flip side. So I go through all the hard stuff. Oh, fancy pants, I'm jealous. She likes dark, she had dark chocolate sauce for ice cream on July 4th. Mm. We had an apple pie. Mm, that's good too though. And today's our last day, it looks like. We, we've stretched it out. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the, and do the decorative stitch. doing a little more decorative to make it pop a little bit. To add to the detail. Okay, so the last thing it's gonna do is stitch out the writing. And I think it calls for black. And I think all of this talking of chocolate syrup, I think I'm gonna do mine in a dark um, brown for the writing instead of black. Kind of change it up a little bit. So now it's just gonna stitch out the lettering. And our block will be finished. So while that's stitching out, it's going to take about seven minutes, so I'll let it go ahead and do the stitching. I wanted to talk about a little bit about the quilting that's involved in this, because you purchase the quilting separate on the Kimberbell website, which you go through our website to get to, so we get the credit for it, and um, they know that we're, we're trying to work with them. But I'm going to turn it to the overhead now. But some of these quiltings are so darn cute, and I don't know if you can see it up close, if I bring it up and let it. There is shakes, cherries, so there's one that has all different kinds of designs like that. But what I wanted to show you is the ones that have, I don't know if you can see, it's like a herringbone kind of crossing back and forth. Those stitches you can use on anything, not just the pillow. And then there's, here it shows it better on here. And I have used these on mini quilts. I've used them on um, back of, of uh, appliques that I'm gonna make into a small 12 by 12 inch or something like that. And what's really nice about these is you can do it with it comes with the background quilting or it comes without or the placement tacked down for the batting or it comes without so you can continue to put these on you know a bigger piece if you want to 
Um, and then it's got some fun like curly cues and, and so they're all different kinds of designs that you get with this that you can use on different things. Here's one with just the ice cream scoops. So um, I wanted to you know, take a look at those and think about using them in other things, not just this two scoops, um, which is really kind of fun. I was going to look at even the border print. It's got ice cream cones and um, ice cream bars and all of that. How cute would that be on a little girl's ruffled dress and put it on the ruffle going around it? Um, I'm not lucky enough to have boys. We have, or I have two boys, uh, grandsons instead of two girls. I don't think they'd want that. But you know what? My one grandson loves the ice cream truck. So just getting the embellishment kit just to get the music box to put in a pillow for him in his room um, would be fun to do. In fact, he's got a birthday coming up. I may have to do that. So um, with all of that, so I just wanted to kind of go over the cool thing. And you can see probably this one better here than most of the time I tried to hide it. But sometimes it's fun to make it stand out better in the different quiltings on that. So I just kind of want to keep your mind in thinking above and outside the, the look. Uh-oh, I ran out of bobbin thread, so hold on a minute. I am using white on the bobbin on this um, because sometimes with Kimberbell, I will put in the same color as I'm doing the top, but um, this is a little thicker, so it's okay, and it stitches out. Ooh, I like that chocolate. That is awesome. Now, when a bobbin runs out, I always go back 30 stitches, and I can see I really don't need to on this one, but maybe 20. That works. Um, because sometimes it takes about 30 stitches for it to realize it's out of thread. And so um, Baby Lock and Brother are better than other machines. My Bernina machine, definitely I need to move it back 30 stitches. But on, um, on the, the uh, Baby Lock and Brother, they pretty much, when they tell you the bobbin is out, they're right the bobbin out and you maybe take it back 10 stitches but for good measure I usually do 30 just a little tidbit of information so that was kind of good I really do like the chocolate writing You can always change it. We love our machine so much that if you didn't want to put never settle for just two scoop or one scoop, um, you could make your own sayings up on it and put them in your own writing. Um, put two people's names, like if, uh, my husband loves chocolate and I'm a strawberry or eater, or so, or mine's really mint chocolate chip. It would be fun to put the names of those and on, on the towel or something like that. So you can just take each one of these blocks and use it for so many other things. You just have to have imagination. So now it's going to do one scoop.
anybody have any questions or anything just remember this is um salima has got this on special with a limited supply on the app you could make a wall hanging with this as well or make miniature wall hangings of different ones um, i love all their fabrics and they're always very generous with their fabrics so that you have it for other things and i tend to use these i have a kimberbell box of all the kimberbell fabrics from all the different projects i've done so if i ever need a green or a turquoise or a different color i can go in and grab the a piece that i need really like the brown. Put it next to it and see what you think. magic music I'm gonna pull it out cut my thread now let's see look how cute that is so let's take a look there's the black And there's the brown. It's really hard to see on the camera though. Okay, that's the brown. And hopefully I can get this up there without. And that's the black. Kind of like the brown. So now what I'll do is I'll take it out of my hoop. And what I do to store them is I will t go to the back. Hopefully you can see this. And I cut away my stabilizer. Do you have to do this? No, but if I'm doing a project with lots of them, then I don't want the stabilizer in my plastic sheets. So I cut it away. Okay, so it's ready to go in my book. But what I wanted to show you is it says to cut it down to, oops, I just did it again. Six and a half by six and a half. So if I'm gonna grab a ruler real quick. A ruler real quick. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's like, I thought I had one right here. <laughs> there was one here. What size would you like? Six and a half. Well, well close enough. That? Almost. We're, so we're going to do a six and a half here. And I don't know if you can see my stitching here. And if I look at that stitching, remember I said I do that last stitch just to have it? There's my cut line. So if I were going to rotary cut this, there's my six and a half this way. And there's my six and a half that way. So I do that last stitch, even though I don't need to, 
you could forgo it. Um, it is my cut line. And I have it on this side as well. So that I know that this is my sewing line. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to bring it up. Let it adjust. So there's my sewing line. And there's my cut line. So those two stitches that you could not do are helpful in the long run on the outside. But that's it guys. So it was kind of fun. I wanted to show you puffy foam. I wanted to show you two scoops. There are still some kits that are available. They are adorable. You can do certain things with it. You do not have to make the pillow. Um, but it, the pillow is really, really fun. And I love to put it on my couch and my husband puts his back against it and the music goes off and I know that he's sitting down. No. <laughs> so, it, uh, is it the entertainer? I didn't know what, yeah, it's, it's the music that my um, ice cream man plays when he comes down the street. So, but this one is a really fun one. Again, she split it up so you don't have to, you, um, if you want to make two or three of them, you can uh, with just the fabric. And um, you've got the CD already. You definitely need the embellishment kit. The be be embellishment kit is fun to do other things with it. So you can get just the embellishment kit, but you need it to go with the fabric, without a doubt. Um, just fun, fun, fun. So I will, I guess that's it. Anybody have any questions? then we will see you next week, I guess. Yes. <laughs> it's like, where am I? Where am I doing? Oh, next week there's no Friday. Oh, there's no Friday fun day next, next Friday. I'm at convention. Oh, that's right. She's at convention. She's going to learn all the new stuff with the Berninas. It's like, I, I love convention because that means there's new things. But my wallet doesn't like convention because it gets empty really quickly with it. <laughs> And then the following, I guess, the, in August is Baby Lop and Brother, too. So we've got some fun new things coming. So we will see you all later. Take